Hospitals across India have been reporting several cases of mucormycosis, a rare fungal infection affecting patients who have recently recovered from COVID-19. Mucormycosis or black fungus is an aggressive and invasive fungal infection caused by a group of molds called mucormycetes. These molds are present in the environment and the infection can occur after someone breathes in spores. Mucormycosis mainly affects people who are immunocompromised or take medicines that lower the body's ability to fight germs and sickness. It can affect various organs but is currently manifesting as an invasive rhino orbito cerebral disease affecting the ear, nose, throat and mouth. It is not contagious but can cause a lot of damage internally and can be fatal if not detected early. The common name black fungus is in reference to the blackening that is characteristic of the disease. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention calls it a serious but rare disease. Without population-based estimates, it is difficult to determine the exact incidence and prevalence of mucormycosis in the Indian population. But a computational model-based method has now estimated a prevalence of 0.14 cases per 1000 individuals in India. While no studies exist on the current prevalence, the infection remained a possibility for 1 in 10,000 persons who recovered from COVID-19. Diabetes mellitus is the most common underlying cause followed by hematological malignancies and solid organ transplants. Diabetes mellitus was reported in 54% to 76% of cases according to a report. One of the main reasons that triggers mucormycosis in patients post-COVID-19 is the indiscriminate use of a high dose of steroids, sometimes even in minimally symptomatic patients. This leads to spikes in the sugar level among diabetics which in turn renders them vulnerable. Therefore, rational use of steroids is necessary and constant monitoring of sugar levels and resorting to insulin use to control these levels if required is essential. The use of monoclonal agents or immune modulating drugs such as tocilizumab should be given only when it's required and not irrationally. Also, while the fungi are present in the environment, the use of nasal prongs and other devices for oxygen delivery and possible breach of sterile conditions can possibly lead to cross-infection and hospital-acquired infection in patients. A stuffy nose, bloody blackish or brown discharge from the nose, blackish discoloration of the skin, swelling or numbness around the cheek, one-sided facial pain, toothache or jaw pain, drooping of eyelids or swelling, double vision, redness of eyes and sudden decrease in vision are some of the symptoms. The main line of treatment is an antifungal drug called amphotericin B which is given over an extended period of time under the strict observation of a physician. Surgery to remove the fungus growth might also be warranted. It is essential to follow appropriate treatment protocols for COVID-19 patients including rational use of steroids and monoclonal antibodies only when they can help a patient. To keep blood sugar levels under control and ensure that appropriate calibration of oral drugs or insulin is done from time to time. It is also important to keep COVID patients oxygen mask and cannula sterile to prevent the infection. Recognizing the symptoms and seeking treatment early if there are two or three symptoms at a time is key. Like most illnesses, if detected early, mucormycosis can be cured. <laughs>